Hello, this is John Millar for Discussion Board 3. I spoke about the, or I will be talking about the Beyond Tesla electric cars find their stride. Um, this 2019 prediction obviously was made at the beginning of 2019. Uh, unfortunately for electric cars, their stride has not been found. This is not the end of the combustion engine. The article was written after the Model 3 came out and the 2018 electric car sales went up 81%, but looking at 2019, it's only going to be about a 12% increase, and most of that increase comes from sales that were ordered in 2018 but not delivered till 2019. Uh, Elon Musk made a big point saying that Tesla had 400,000 people just waiting to buy a Model 3, but that number looks to be about half correct. Now Tesla is focusing mainly on Europe and the EU or the EU and China. The China move, in my opinion, is not very good because you have to share your technology, so copies of the Tesla 3 will be out probably in the next five years, which will you know really hurt Tesla's sales. The reason for this, I believe, owning a Nissan Leaf myself, is that there are three major problems, charging, charging, and charging. The first, it takes hours to charge an electric car. The average home can charge a car about six kilowatts an hour. You get about four miles to the kilowatt. So if you were to take myself driving, you know, 60 miles a day, I have to charge my car four hours every night. Um, so it's not like a combustion engine where you can just pull into a gas station do a quick fill up and take off. The other issue with charging is the infrastructure of the charging. So Britain recently passed a law saying that basically you couldn't sell combust new combustion engines in the next five years, but something like 80% of the homes, though, especially the older homes in Europe and England and Europe don't have the electrical boxes to be able to charge. An electric car and run your dryer at the same time. So the only time you could charge your electric car in England would be at night. You'd have to turn every single thing off, then plug your car into charge. Well, for everyone, that's not exactly the most ideal situation where you can't run your dryer or make some toast. And then the third issue with charging is specifically around, you know, the types of batteries that it creates a lot of heat. So the faster you charge, the more damage it does to the battery, the more heat it creates, the more danger there is involved in charging. So as long as you have these problems with charging, um, no infrastructure, long charge times and excessive heat and damage to the battery. I mean, my car's lost, you know, about 20 miles in the last four years. Uh, just on the degrading of your battery. If you think of like your cell phone, how quickly your cell phone battery isn't as good. Um, hopefully long term, they can solve these problems. My bet is on solid state batteries, kind of like a solid state hard drive. Since there is no chemicals moving around, there is no heat. So you can charge it much faster. But until then, the combustion engine will continue to rain.